Now, 10 years after the US-led occupation of Iraq, former British Prime Minister Tony Blair has come under fire for his role in the conflict. An online poll by YouGov shows that the majority of the British public believe the decision to invade Iraq was wrong. The poll said more than a fifth of participants believe Blair deliberately misled Parliament and the public and should be tried as a war criminal over his involvement in the Iraq conflict. Several former British diplomats and military chiefs have also accused Blair of making mistakes in his decisions, which led to British forces being ill-prepared for the Iraq invasion. Tony Blair has already been accused of being a war criminal for his role in the conflict, which led to the death of 179 British soldiers and almost 117,000 Iraqi civilians. Christopher Walker is a political commentator with me now on the line from London. So, Mr Walker, how serious would you describe Tony Blair's role and would you describe that role as criminal in nature? Uh, I, I think I would. I mean, this has been growing up. It's not the first time that this uh, type of opinion has been expressed, but it's uh, conducted by a very reliable opinion poll uh, questioned 1,684 uh, British adults to come to these uh, conclusions. And uh, they follow a number of uh, events that have marked the 10th anniversary. There have been plays on the radio uh, depicting how the Blair government, as it were, put together an, arg an argument to go to war that really conned the parliament that they were just following Bush's line and had no decision as to what the people meant. You often see demonstrations with uh, Blair's name changed on posters. Instead of saying Blair, B-L-A-I-R, it says Blair, uh, you know, implying that he is a liar. And there's a novel, a uh, very popular novel out called The Ghost, uh, which implies that uh, because of all these lies, eventually the only place he can go to live is a sort of island off America, because if he lands in his own country, he'll be uh, sent off to the criminal court at The Hague. Christopher Walker, political commentator with us there on the line from London. Thank you very much, Mr Walker.